What is a nun doing in a place like this? I just want to help him take responsibility for what he did. I like being alone with you. You're looking real good to me. Death is breathing down your neck. You're playing your little man on the make games. You're a white supremacist, a follower of Hitler. Hitler was a leader. But he was on the right track that the Aryan was master race. This is an evil man. But I didn't kill him. I didn't kill nobody. I swear to God, I didn't. I ain't gonna get no chair, Daddy. I'm pissed all them kids for being parked out in the woods that night. Pissed all their parents coming to see me die. Blame the government. You blame drugs. You blame blacks. What about Matthew Ponsolet? What, is he just an innocent? If you do die, as your friend, I want to help you die with dignity. And I don't see how you can do that unless you start to own up to the part you played in Walter and Hope's death. Don't cry, Mama. I don't want to see no cry. Don't execute this man. You can stop this from happening, sir. Comes the story of one woman's unquenchable courage. Will you stay? I'll be there. And one man's last chance at life. You are a son of God, Ned. Nobody ever called me no son of God before. What's up everybody and welcome back to the Movie Buffer. Tonight we are beginning our new series called From the Book to the Movie, Dead Man Walking. The book Dead Man Walking was published in 1993. It is a work of non-fiction by Sister Helen Prejean, a Roman Catholic nun and one of the sisters of Saint Joseph of Madeleine based in New Orleans, arising from her work as a spiritual advisor to two convicted murderers on death row. The book is set largely at the Louisiana State Penitentiary in Angola, a West Feliciani parish in Louisiana. It examines moral issues related to the men's acknowledgement of their crimes and to the state's use of the death penalty. The movie Dead Man Walking is a 1995 movie starring Susan Sarandon, Sean Penn, and co-produced and directed by Tim Robbins, who adapted the screenplay from the 1993 non-fiction book of the same name. Sister Helen Prejean, played by Susan Sarandon, established a special relationship with Matthew Poncelot, Sean Penn, a character based on convicted murderers Elmo Patrick Saunier and Robert Lee Willie. He is a prisoner on death row in Louisiana and she visits him as his spiritual advisor after corresponding with him. But let's start with the book. The book is written by Sister Helen Prejean. This is a non-fiction work and is a detailed account of actual events. Though the author does depict dramatic as well as descriptive prose on what occurred, it is mainly a telling of the events and not an expressive narrative. I listened to this work on Audible and it was in the voice of Sister Helen. At first her tone is simple and thoughtful, but bereft of the theatrics of a fictional narrative, which means no accents, or theatrical voices or tones, just her voice as is. Which, I have to admit, at first made me a bit bored. Then I remember that this is not the movie I saw in the theaters, but the real events of walking with someone who is about to be electrocuted on death row. So I continued. I also reminded myself that she is a nun, and that carries a lot of weight with me. The book gives us an intimate view of her life as a nun in the projects of New Orleans' poorest area, which is filled with primarily black Americans. Born on April 21, 1939 in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Sister Helen joined the Sisters of St. Joseph of Madiel, now known as the Congregation of St. Joseph, in 1957. She received her Bachelor of Arts in English and Education from St. Mary's Dominican College, New Orleans, in 1962, and in 1973 she received her Master's of Arts in Religious Education from St. Paul's University in Ottawa, Canada. She spent the following years teaching high school and serving as the Religious Education Director at St. Francis Cabrini Parish in New Orleans and the Formation Director 
for her religious community in 1982 after moving into the st thomas housing project in new orleans in order to live and work with the poor sister helen began corresponding with patrick saunier who had been sentenced to death for the murder of two teenagers two years later when patrick saunier was put to death in the electric chair sister helen was there to witness his execution in the following months she became spiritual adviser to another death row inmate robert lee willie who was to meet the same fate as saunier what's interesting about the two men is that their murders are very similar both killing a young couple by shooting the male and raping the girl before also killing her the book goes into depth about the laws and history of the death penalty sister helen discusses her stance that the death penalty should be banned on the federal level and not up to the states to decide she feels it is wrong on every level she is also very candid about how she handled the families of the victims and how naive she was and scared about speaking with them when she was also being present for the men who murdered their children it's an insightful book that gives you factual and emotional details regarding each side of this argument i highly recommend it especially if you have any interest in the laws and how the death penalty has progressed in this country now on to the movie dead man walking came to the screen by the urgence of one person susan sarandon at that time susan had been in a long-term relationship with tim robbins while on the set of another movie susan was handed sister helen's book and read it in between her scenes she loved it and identified with helen so much that she had to meet her after their meeting susan also decided that sister helen's book should definitely become a film she took her idea to tim robbins who waited almost a year to get around to reading it once he finally did basically to get susan to shut up about it he agreed with her that this should be a movie and they brought on sean penn to play the fictional death row main character matthew Poncelet this character has both qualities of the real patrick saunier and robert lee willie but i thought sean's depiction of matthew physically looked more like robert lee with nuances of saunier in the personality of the role the movie did an excellent job of turning sister helen's non-fictional work into a dramatic tale of death row as well as her fight against the death penalty however if you want to really go in depth about corporal punishment and sister helen's walk with these inmates you have to read the book it is well worth it so have you seen dead man walking what are your thoughts about the movie and about corporal punishment it has been proven again and again that putting people to death for their crime is not a deterrent actually quite the opposite yet we as humans seem to have an ingrained need for revenge please place your comments below on this issue and like and subscribe so others can find this channel i thank you so much for watching peace two fingers